Do you find yourself constantly cursing the markets because the trade that you just exited takes off in your direction? In today's video, we will take a look at why you're caught in this behavior and how to fix it. Welcome to the Trading with Venus podcast, where we help you establish strong trading habits, generate consistent profits, and create the lifestyle you desire for yourself and your family. Now your host, Raman Gill. Welcome to the Trading with Venus podcast. I'm your host, Raman Gill. In today's video, we will take a look at why you exit the trades too early. So have you found yourself in a position where you sit there and watch the trade and it doesn't go anywhere, but as soon as you exit the trade, it just takes off in your direction? So let's take a look at why this happens and what can you do to fix this. So the first thing we need to do is to prepare. When we do our market analysis the night before, I hope you're doing that because if you're not, make sure you go to my YouTube channel and access my daily analysis so you can do it with me. Now, once you've done your market analysis, you want to look at what are the potential targets that you are setting up for the trades. These targets need to be in line with the market movements. One thing that we want to look at is average to range or the daily movement that a pair has. If your targets are too wide, so let's say a pair moves 100 pips. For example, Euro dollar tends to move about 100 pips a day, but your target for the day is 200 pips. Now you know that's not going to work. Many times I see that traders get too greedy and they set really big targets. Now the trade may not be able to get there because the market just doesn't move that much in a day. And if you see that the price has dropped or gone up, 80 pips and now he's just sitting there, that may be a good time to exit the trade instead of just sitting there and waiting for trade to move. Another thing you want to do is understand the pullbacks. Every trending market has pullbacks. So no matter what pair you're trading, what direction you're trading in, there will be pullbacks. So if the market's moving up, then we're looking for price to drop, pull back before it takes off again. So it's very important for us to understand the pullbacks because otherwise we will end up taking trades at the high or the low points and then we'll see the trades move against us and we could panic in those situations. The best thing to do is understand how far we expect the market to go with our average uh, daily range or average, true, or average true range. Once we know that the market is almost to that point, it doesn't always go exactly to the same point. It can be within 20 pips or so. So make sure you understand your daily range and then look for how much it will pull back. So it could pull back about 25% if it's a really strong trend, or it may pull back anywhere from 38 to about 50%. So understand where those pullback levels fall and look for that move back into those pullback levels. And that's the place you want to take that trade again for it to move in the direction that of the previous trend. So if you understand the pullbacks, you could exit the trade when it's close to the average daily range, wait for the pullback, and then take it again in the same direction of the previous trend. So understanding our pullbacks is very important. So it will save you from that anxiety of, should I exit the trade now? Should I wait for it? Is it gonna go any further? It will make you get out of that anxiety mode and actually make good solid decisions. Another thing you want to pay attention to is to let go of the trade. A lot of times I find uh, people want to have really, really large targets that we talked about, but during that time there will be ups and downs, the pullbacks that we just discussed. However, if we get out of the greed mode of wanting to get everything that the trade has to offer us, we could actually make better decisions. So set your targets just a few pips away from the total 
daily range for that pair and then just take it and walk away. There is no need for us to grab that last 10 pips or last 20 pips because we can never time it perfectly. In trying to time it perfectly, we could actually end up giving back the profits that we have as well. On the flip side, if you know that price is in a trending market, then don't try to be a day trader when your targets are like swing trader. So make sure you understand what your trading style is. If your targets are really large, make sure you let the trade run and don't get too greedy or you don't get too fearful and take out the trade before it really has had room to breathe and move in the direction it wants to move. So do not set targets that are swing targets and try to accomplish them as a day trader. Make sure you understand what you're doing. So doing your market analysis properly, understanding the pullbacks and understanding are you setting up targets that are swing targets or day trader targets. So make sure you understand which ones you're setting because if you're setting the swing targets, let it run. If you're setting the day targets, then pull it out, wait for the pullback and then go back in again. Now, if you are trading every single day and looking at the markets every single day, make sure you go to my YouTube channel and join me in the daily analysis in which we look at where the targets are, where I'm expecting the market to go and how to look for the pullbacks at the same time. And if you have been caught up in this situation of not knowing when to exit the trade or exiting the trade too early, Comment below and let me know how you have handled that. That's it for today. I'll be back with another episode next time. Bye for now. If you want consistency in your trading, we invite you to join our daily market analysis calls where we provide the levels to find the best entries and targets on an intraday basis. For a one-week free trial, please visit www.tradingwithvenus.com. Thanks for joining us today. With much gratitude, your show host, Raman Gill.